Hello everyone, greetings from Quest Zero. Today we will continue our sessions on Railerit's method and we have taken up a problem based on the subscriber request. Before we proceed with the solution, I request all of you to subscribe for the channel if you have not done because this is the percentage of unsubscribed viewers that I have and this is the, per, uh, the very meager amount of subscribed viewers. So please do subscribe, you are not going to lose anything with it. So thank you. So we'll proceed with the solution. The question or the problem statement is a simply supported beam subjected to a point load at the center and a uniformly distributed load P0 for its entire length. We need to find out the relation of deflection as well as the maximum deflection that occurs at the center using the Rayleigh-Ritz method. Okay. So, we will proceed with the same procedure that we followed for the previous problems. The very first step is to formulate the potential energy functional. Formulate the potential energy functional. So, pi is equals to strain energy plus work potential. So, we have seen that for beams the strain energy is given by Ei by 2 integral from 0 to the overall length L d square y by dx square whole square integrated over the entire length and work potential is given by since we have a uniformly distributed load it is integral minus integral 0 to l p naught y dx and also we have a point load so it is minus p into y max <coughs> since the point load produces the deflection at the center okay now the second step would be to we will we'll create the potential energy functional included with the strain energy and work potential so what potential energy will become now ei by 2 integral 0 to l d square y by dx square whole square dx minus 0 to l p naught y dx minus p into y max now we need to assume the trial displacement function. So, this trial displacement function can be either trigonometric or a polynomial, but we prefer trigonometric displacement functions for assumption for beam problems. So, let trial displacement function be Let's assume only one term A sine phi x by L. This is to minimize the computational effort. If you want a more accurate result, you may go with A sine 3 pi x by L as well added. So let's say this potential energy equation to be 1 and let this trial displacement function be equation 2. Next is we need to apply the boundary conditions. So, applying the boundary condition let us check at x equals 0 the displacement should be 0 at the support locations 
So y will become if you sub, substitute x equals 0, y will also will become equal to 0. So at x equals l as well, y should be 0. So if you sub, substitute x equals l, sine pi is again 0. So y becomes 0. So it satisfies the necessary boundary conditions. But at x equals l by 2, y will become, if you substitute l by 2, l gets cancelled. So, sin pi by 2 will remain. Sin pi by 2 is again 1. So, y becomes equal to a, which is nothing but y max at the center. Now, we need to substitute the values of d square y by dx square as well as y max we have obtained it to be a y value we have so d square y by dx square we need to obtain what will be the value so differentiating equation 2 differentiating equation 2 twice with respect to x so initial is dy by dx will be a cos pi x by l into pi over l next differentiating again d square y by dx square a pi over l whole square so sin pi x by l will be minus sorry cos pi x over l is minus sin pi x by l okay now when i we need to obtain d square y by dx square whole square so squaring the above term d square y by dx square whole square it will be a square pi to the power of 4 over l to the power of 4 sin square pi x by l so this is the equation for d square y by dx square whole square now I need to substitute d square y by dx square y and y max in equation 1. So, substituting all these values into the pi, the equation 1 will become equation 1 will become I do have all those values. Let me move on to. Okay, I do have space for this. So pi is equal to e i by two integral zero to l d square y by d x square is nothing but a square pi to the power of four by l to the power of four sine square pi x over l into dx minus integral 0 to l p naught value of a, y is a sine pi x over l dx minus p what is y max is into a. Now we need to further simplify this equation. So simplifying the previous equation, so pi is equal to let's retain ei by 2 and take out all the constant terms a square pi to the power of 4 by l to the power of 4 and convert the sine function to cosine function 
so 0 to L integral 1 minus cos 2 pi by L x 2 pi x by L it is so divided by 2 into dx this we have done it in the previous beam problems as well minus minus I will take it here p naught into a common terms 0 to l sin pi x over l dx minus p into a. Next, the same pi will be equal to now. I will take the half outside as well. So, it will become ei by 4 a square pi to the power of 4 by l to the power of 4 integral 0 to l. This will become 1 minus cos 2 pi x over l dx minus p naught a 0 to l sin pi x over l dx minus p a. Okay. Going further, we will start with the integration process in this step. Pi is equal to e i over 4 a square pi to the power of 4 by l to the power of 4. Now, integral of 1 is x minus cos 2 pi x over l integral is sin 2 pi x over l divided by 2 pi by l and to this we need to apply the limits from 0 to l minus p naught a integral of sin pi x over l is minus cos pi x over l divided by pi by l and limits from 0 to l minus p a. So, once you have all the limits applied, the pi value v pi equals e i by 4 a square pi to the power of 4 by l to the power of 4. Now, when you substitute the upper limit, x will take the value l minus when you substitute l here, l l gets cancelled. So, it will be sin 2 pi. So, hence 0. l minus substituting 0 to the x values, 0 minus sin 0 is 0. So, everything will become 0. So, this will be l minus p naught a substituting the value upper limit when you substitute l. So, it will become cos pi. Okay. So, cos pi is minus 1. So, minus into minus is plus 1 minus the lower limit. So, minus of minus will become again cos uh, plus cos 0. So, plus cos 0 is again 1. So, it is 1 plus 1, 2 shifting the denominator it will be l by pi minus p a. Now, rearranging the terms. So, pi will be equal to e i by 4 pi to the power of 4 by L cube, LL gets cancelled, A square minus 2 P naught A L by pi minus P A. Okay. Now, we need to minimize this potential energy functional. 
So, minimizing the potential energy functional, I'll write it as P. So, it is, there is only one variable which is A. Dou pi by dou A should be equal to 0. So, when I differentiate this, dou pi by dou A is equal to 2 Ei by 4 pi to the power of 4 by L cube into A minus 2 P naught L by pi minus P is equal to 0. So, I, I need the value of A. So, this will be Ei by 2. I will shift the negative terms to the right hand side first. So, this will become Ei by 2 pi to the power of 4 by L cube A is equal to P plus 2 P naught L by pi. So, A will now take the value. Shifting the denominator, it will be 2L cubed. Okay. If you take the LCM for this, it will be P into pi plus 2P naught L divided by pi. So, I will retain Ei by pi to the power of 4 here. So, now shifting this term to the denominator, A will be equal to 2L cube P into pi plus 2P naught L divided by Ei pi to the power of 5. Now, what is A? A is nothing but Y max. So, maximum deflection y max is equals to a which is also equal to 2l cube p pi plus 2 p naught l divided by e i pi to the power of 5. If you need you can substitute the value of pi and raise it to the power of 5 and 2 over that particular term you can do it and whatever value that you get you can substitute if you need it or you can leave it as it is and the deflection will be y equals a sin by x by l so if you substitute the value of a to this y is equal to 2l cube p pi plus 2p naught l divided by e i pi to the power of 5 into sin pi x by L. So, this is the relation for deflection. So, this completes the solution for the relation with respect to the simply supported beam subjected to a point load as well as a uniformly distributed load. Please do like, share, comment if you have any doubts and also do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.